Okay, welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to find the measure of all the uh, exterior, or measure of one exterior angle. And it's important when we're dealing with a um, heptagon, I don't really like doing heptagons. Um, but let me just do a hexagon here for a second. Okay, so let's say we have a regular um, hexagon, I'm sorry, pentagon. And remember, the regular pentagon, all the sides are exactly the same, right? So what's the measure of each side is exactly the same. Now what's important about this, since all of these angles are exactly the same, remember finding the exterior angle, all we're going to do is extend sides of our figure, of our polygon. And when we extend sides of there, we now create our exterior angles. And what's really important for us to understand about these exterior angles is the <coughs> exterior angle and the interior angle are supplementary. They create a linear pair, right? They add up to 180 degrees. So therefore, if I can find just the measure of one interior angle, then all I got to do is subtract it from 180 to find the measure of the exterior angle. Well, I have a formula for finding the measure of an interior angle. So to do that, I have I equals, and now I have a heptagon which has seven sides. I know that has five sides. So let's go to the formula. Seven minus two times 180 divided by 7. I equals 5. 5 times um, 180 is 900 divided by 7. I do not know that at the top of my head. And that's going to be 128.57. So the measure of the interior angle is equal to 128.57. So we can say, hey, that's the measure of that angle. But we want to figure out the exterior angle. So all I'm simply going to do is say 100, or just say that the measure of the exterior angle equals 180 degrees minus the interior angle. So 180 degrees minus 128.57, which is going to be 31.43, I think. Let me double check my math in my head. Dang. <laughs> 31. I don't know where 31 came from. 51.43. Uh, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you find the measure of one and exterior angle. Thanks.